All right, so you just bought a roll off and you have absolutely no idea how to uh, how to pick it up because the the dealership just kind of showed you in 30 seconds or less on how to do it. So let's go ahead and talk about it a little bit. First and foremost, I don't like unless I'm dropping the cans off in uh, on grass. I don't like to use four by fours uh, under my cans anymore. I used to do it because I used to back up to the point where uh literally the rail would slide under the wheels but uh the whole point of having a roll off is that the dumpster is actually on wheels and i can guide it and pull it on its wheels onto the trailer easier than having to line it up 100 percent perfectly and i'm going to show you how i kind of do it here um but i give about two this is probably about three feet maybe even yeah about three feet here uh, right now between the dumpster and the rails uh, by the time I drop it down, or maybe even four feet, I might drop, pull it, bring it back just a little bit. But uh, this is this is kind of how I like to how I like to line it up. And then what I got to make sure to do is that the rails are lined up with the wheels. So right there, we're pretty close. Okay, I'm maybe uh, it's actually pretty good. So the rails are lined up with the wheels. Oh, it looks like I got my winch cable there a little a little loose but anyways so we're gonna go ahead and uh, lift her up all right so we're gonna grab the remote I like to put it right there it's got a magnet on the back and I lost my wireless remote unfortunately I've got to have to order one soon here so we're gonna use the uh, factory factory winch remote and uh, so yeah, it's got some plugs. It's got a little divot right here in the bottom. I don't know if you can see right there. It's got a little divot. So that goes literally on the bottom. On the bottom there. So you push it in and then you turn it to tighten it. And that's, that's pretty much all that you gotta do there. So we're gonna go ahead and lift it up. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, go up so when I'm lifting up what I'm looking for is that the rails are really close to the ground um, because if you don't have it close enough to the ground those wheels are gonna push back and fight you All right, I like to have the rails almost uh, straight up and probably not even an inch uh, off the ground. That's kind of the ideal spot or the ideal spacing for me uh, to be able to help guide it to go onto the rails properly. And uh, so that once it does get on the rails, it will, uh, it will just roll right on. So before I do pick it up, I need to make sure that it's locked in place and this one is not most of the time the customers do not pin it which is fine as long as they close it before they fill it i'll come in and drop the pin lock it in place other than that she's ready to roll okay so we're gonna go ahead and grab the winch remote which is way up here and we're gonna start, oh, we're gonna loosen it up and we're gonna hook on the uh, dumpster. So hit the uh, release on the winch. All right, once you get the winch nice and tight on there, it's time to start guiding it in place. So you're gonna winch it onto the rails and you're gonna watch and make sure it's lining up properly. So the dumpster rolls just fine. So it looks like I did a decent job lining it up because it's gonna be pretty straight on, okay? You see that? So it's gonna roll maybe a little bit to the right. So I'll make sure to uh, make 
right there just kind of dropped in place. So now it's in between both rails. I could have pushed it a little bit, but I didn't. I let the winch just kind of do the work and the rails do the work as well. So now it's on the actual rails. And then what I'm gonna, what I've learned to do is I'm gonna lift it up to a point where it's at the, uh, the pivot point of the rails, which is right here where this bar is. Right about where the wheels are on the actual rails. Now I'm gonna drop it down. Like I need a little bit of uh, some grease, but I've greased the crap out of it. So what I do is I drop the rails to be pretty much level with the can to make it easier on the winch. Okay, so pretty much if I back up a little bit. I can see pretty much a straight line from the rails to the dumpsters and I'm going to start rolling the, the dumpster on and then I'm going to lift the rails a little bit to give it a better uh, better angle. So just kind of a little give and go as you uh, pull it on to cause less strain on your winch. So right there it's over the wheels, you go up a little bit. Now what you're looking for when you're doing this is you're making sure that, especially with these non-standard rails, you're making sure that the dumpster is sitting between the rails, okay? And not on top, because that's what will happen if you're not lined up properly. So your dumpster could possibly, potentially sit on, go on top of the rails, the edge, and actually roll, and that's where you have a, a major problem. So we're gonna keep pulling her up. Again, the rear wheels are not scraping anything. This one seems pretty heavy. I still have the rear wheels on the ground. Okay, right at the point when you believe it's like a tipping point right right when you believe you have enough weight on the rails where you can take the weight off the wheels and bring the the dumpster down that's when you start you go down the rest of the way so I'm gonna lift up I'm gonna go down on the rails and lift up the back of the dumpster and again you basically do this to give the to help the winch out a little bit more So you don't go too far. And you put, and that's you put the uh, the locking pin right onto the locking mechanism, and then you lock it in place. You're gonna have the safety chains that you're gonna chain onto the dumpsters. You got these little holes here, and you do that on both sides. I'm gonna take my winch remote off before I lose that too. Throw that in my toolbox. Grab that. I usually like to stick it right on the side there. Close her up. Don't forget to chain the other side. You can see it's chained. So now you have three things that are holding your dumpster on, and onto the trailer. You got two chains, which actually four. You've got the wench cable and you've got the locking pin with the locking bar mechanism here. So it locks on both sides. When you do one final walkthrough, make sure everything looks good. All right, we're gonna throw the tarp over. We've got some branches, but that shouldn't be a problem. Unlock the tarp, push the tarp over. Have a little problem. What seems to be?
be the bum. Oh, let's see. Well, that's a big branch, but nothing really holding it back other than those. That's what it was. I'll go throw some bungees on there, but that's pretty much it, everybody. That's how you roll a Lone Star dumpster or any dumpster onto your Lone Star trailer or any trailer with rails, with non-standard rails. It'll be the same thing with, I gotta cover that over there too. It's the same thing with the PJs, same thing with the uh, Max Ds, uh, same thing with the Texas Prides, all of those. You want the dumpster to sit in between, so on the rails and in between the little sidewalls. I got grease all over my hands. That's awesome. That's why I should be wearing gloves. You guys should be doing this with gloves. Also, if you're wearing a ring, you should definitely wear gloves. So, 